Hello fashion sewers, it's Colleen G Lee here and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog. In this tutorial I'm going to be telling you about pattern markings, sometimes referred to as pattern symbols. Uh, I would advise you to read my post because it's a lot more detailed um, than what this video will be. So um, I'll show you some examples. The first symbol I'm going to be showing you or pattern marking is the straight grain line which is here and it has a har an arrow head at the end and that is telling you that you need to place this particular pattern piece on the straight grain of fabric. Here we have small circles and they are basically saying to you that you need to mark this triangle which is the dart and using tailor tacks or any other method of marking your fabric. Here we have cutting lines, there are four together from sizes 8 to 14 and what happens here is that you will actually cut down to the size that you want. That's what's happening there. Here we have triangles and these are indicating that you need to match up the side seams and what you can either do, you can cut the triangle into your fabric or you can make a little snip into the seam allowance. Remember, just keep it very small because you don't want to cut too far into the seam allowance. So those are indicating matching up of seams. Okay, here we have two very small, narrow lines here, parallel lines, and it comes from one end of the pattern to the other. And they are for shortening and lengthening. You'll either slash to separate to lengthen or you'd actually fold to shorten. The next one above that is showing um, this particular pattern is for a petite size person. So as you can see there's two parallel lines and there's a short arrow with an arrow head pointed to the upper line and that is for folding. So you'd actually fold it to make the pattern shorter and that is different from this line here. Here we have three triangles and those three triangles are telling you that you need to match up the seam at the back. So this is a centre back seam and it's showing three so that you will know it's a centre back. Moving on to this larger circle here, this showing you where you need to start your seam allowance from that to lower down the skirt and what you put there is some kind of marking such as a for example a tailor tack. The rest of the space here is where the zipper will go. Alright here's another symbol or marking here and it's a, a, a larger circle compared to say the darts for example and that is showing you need to mark there to tell you that this is where you need to stop when you're sewing your seam or this is where the actual opening starts for the slit on this particular skirt. Now here you have a marking which is very small and should be in my opinion a lot larger and this is showing you the centre front or it could be the centre back of a pattern and it's showing, telling you that you need to put this on the fold of fabric so you just get one pattern one pattern only. So that's the double arrow heads there and there. This, um, this symbol here, this marking here with the circle and the cross in the middle actually refers to the circumference of say the, the bust, the waist in this particular pattern. It's the hip area and it's a bit more um, for advanced uh, pattern adjustments. Um, and it's basically saying if you need to make any adjustments, this is the area in which you concentrate in order to make it bigger. Okay, I hope that's been useful to you. And if you do want any more advice about uh, pattern symbols or pattern markings, do let me know. I would advise you to read the post below because there's a lot more information in there. I hope I didn't go too quickly for you. And happy sewing and I'll see you in my next video.